Hello! Today we're going to do a tier list video, which is weird for me because I've never ever done a tier list video before. I haven't scripted this in advance or anything, I don't really know what I'm going to say about each individual one. I'm going to take it as I counter them, and we'll just see where it goes. If you disagree, cool, my opinion. Moving on! Alright, so, first up we have Cinderus. I think Cinderus is probably currently in... B tier. Thinking about A tier, maybe maybe B plus tier if there was such a thing. Um, just it, 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 I'm not seeing it as prominently as I used to. Uh, it be A tier or even S tier depending on you know I think it seems to have fallen a little bit. Garchomp. I am gonna put Garchomp in C tier because there are better options for an all rounder. Um, but Garchomp's not horrible either anymore. <laughs> Used to be. Gengar. Solid A tier? A plus tier, maybe? It's it's skirting the edge of S, but I'm going to put it in A tier. Uh, Gengar is quite strong in, in jungle currently. Uh, very good assassin -y type thing. Uh... That the heck the hex uh, sludge bomb is very strong right now. Um, Ram is constantly getting nerfed. Ram, I'm gonna put in. Ooh, where do I put Ram? Hmm. Cramorant is really. <laughs> Cramorant's a weird one. I am gonna put uh, uh, Cramorant in C tier. Because when it's really good, it's really good. When it's really bad, it's bad. It really depends on playing it. So I'm going to put it thinking about D, but we're going to go with C. Alolan Ninetales. Uh, Alolan Ninetales, on its own, I'd probably say C. But there's a good combo with, with Mamo, Freeze Lane. So I'm going to put it in B. Um... So we're going to put it in B because of that reason. Wigglytuff. I'm going to put it in B. Wigglytuff still pretty solid support. Um, not super amazing right right now, but still has to do some solid stuff with it. Machamp. I am going to put Machamp in A tier. Because... Pretty solid all rounder and use damage solo top lane still, you know, things like that. Absol. I'm gonna put Absol in A right now. Another very solid jungler. This is where I'm iffy about Gengar because Gengar is probably more like A. But Absol is very strong still in uh, jungle as well. Or in sometimes lane, depending on the player you get. Slowbro. I haven't seen an awful lot of Slowbro play. Um, Slowbro is 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 an iffy one just because he kind of relies heavily on other players. Um, otherwise, you're just lifting someone and putting them down, or you know, depending on the build, obviously. So I'm gonna put him in B. I might I might hear flack for, for that one. Uh, Mr. Mime is currently S tier. I don't think I need to explain that. Mr. Mime is currently S tier. Venusaur. I'm going to put Venusaur E tier. Pedal Dance. Pedal Dance Giga Drain is a strong uh, bruiser build, but I feel there are better bruisers out there. Uh, namely, Blastoise and uh, um, so Venusaur I'm going to put in B tier uh, Lucario Lucario is going to go in A Lucario has been strong for pretty much the entire time that Unite's been out and he's just been steadily nerfed down from S tier we're going to leave him in A tier he's still very solid similar to Machamp in that sense Talon so Talon Flame typically I'd probably put Talon in if you'd asked me a week ago, I'd probably put Talon in E tier. But 
I have seen some talent, uh, invade talent play and things like that, which are not always successful, but sometimes they're very successful. I'm going to put talent in C currently. Eldegoss, as much as it pains me, my, my original main, and I still say that I'm Eldegoss main, it pains me. I'm going to put you in C tier because you're not that great nowadays. Or unfortunately, I wish you were. I wish you were better. I wish you were better, Eldegoss. Okay. Greninja. I am going to put Greninja in C tier. Admittedly, I don't have a ton of experience with Greninja, but when I'm facing them, they are not. They don't really strike me as that much of a threat when I play against them. Rustle. I am gonna put Rustle also in B tier. Just I don't, you don't see a I haven't seen a lot of Crustle play personally. Um, you know I've seen people play Crustle really well, but I haven't gotten a really good feel for where it should be. That where we're at there. Um, Norlax. Norlax. I think I'm also gonna put it here. Just E plus. Maybe. Norlax has made a comeback. Norlax was very bad at work. And it, I think it's. I think it's made a comeback, but I don't know that it's super, super strong, super powerful, or what I think that at this point. I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, Charizard. Charizard is currently very strong in certain circumstances. From what I've, I've heard and what I've seen, I'm going to put him in A. Pikachu. Uh. Eh, I might regret this, but right now I think you do. I don't. Eh. Eh. E plus? I don't know. Pikachu hasn't seen much love lately. Um, used to be quite good. Maybe still is, but I haven't really been seeing it. So, but here I may regret doing that. People may may yell at me for that. Um, that's fine. It's an opinion, and it's an opinion that I don't have an awful lot of information to establish by. So, take that as you will. Uh, Zura, Zura has gotten stronger. Um, I'm gonna put Zura. For the moment. Yeah, be here. Stick with that. It's gotten better. Uh, it may even be A tier, but leaving it B tier. Gardevoir. I don't know. Gardevoir has never struck me as being super amazing. I'm, I'm going to put it here again. Or if I can yell here, that's that's fine. Uh, Blissey, Blissey was S tier. Uh, is it still S tier? Maybe, maybe. I'm I think I'm gonna put it in A tier though. I think Blissey gets A tier. I'm not putting them in any particular order. Um, I think Blissey's A tier. Or maybe a a plus tier. Call it a plus tier. Uh, Blissey's very good, but it got nerfed and it's not as good. So Blissey gets an A tier for me right now. Blastoise. I'm gonna put Blastoise in A tier. I've I've been playing a lot of Blastoise this season, and it's been a pretty good time. I you know I haven't had too much problem playing Blastoise. Um. So A tier, I feel like people will not agree with Blastoise being an A tier, but that's that's what I'm doing. Mamo, I'm also putting Mamo in A tier. Uh, Mamo 
is pretty solid this season. We've got the Alola Ninetales Mamo combo, which with, with Freeze Lane, and it's just it's pretty strong. So we'll put it in A tier. Sylveon. Sylveon of the Evolution. Put you in A tier. Sylveon's okay. Sylveon's not the greatest. It's not the worst. Um, that's that's where I'm gonna put it. Yep, that's it. There, there we go. Uh, read it. Reading is quite good with fade. Greed continues to do invadey things. I'm gonna put Greedon in A here. <clears throat> Decidueye. Decidueye feels like an, a B plus here, maybe? Decidueye is good. Decidueye is good from rain. Could be A tier. Could be A tier. I'm gonna put it in B tier. I I, I don't I don't think it's bad. I, I think it's decent in fact. I think a lot I think most of the Pokemon are decent. Even Pikachu who I put in D tier right now, I think is decent. Uh, it's, it's hard it's hard because actually the game is with the exception of a few very strong pokemon right now it's pretty pretty balanced i dare say we're gonna people are gonna hate me for that saying that i know it people are complaining about balance on twitter all the time so yeah uh-huh hate me it's fine uh serena a tier dragonite uh, Dragonite hasn't had its had its heyday at one point. I'm gonna put Dragonite C here with Garchomp. A little bit surprisingly, probably. Surprising to me. Um maybe B tier, but I, I think I think B tier is is it. Um uh, Dragonite has fallen quite a bit. It, it's easier to deal with Dragonites than it used to be. Um and I think I think it's a decent choice, but it's not it's not the most amazing choice. Trevenant. Trevenant, I am going to put in here. I like Trevenant. I barely play as Trevenant, but but I do like the concept of Trevenant. Maybe A tier-ish. I'm debating. I'm debating. I don't know. I haven't. I don't. I don't think it's really a tier. I don't really feel like. Um. Sword. I'm gonna put sword in B tier as well. People are gonna. I know. People are gonna hate. Hoopa. Hoopa is another one that's fallen. I'm gonna put Hoopa in C tier with. Zelda Goss. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying they're not particularly good. Either. Um, at this point, I feel I feel bad about Zelda Goss. Main. Mm. Oh well. Uh, Duraludon. Duraludon hasn't been what it used to be. I'm. I would put it, in, but I honestly feel like it might be D. Now. Right now, I think it might be here. Um, Azumarill. Yeah, Azumarill. I have never had good experiences with someone playing Azumarill. I don't. Maybe once. I I, I haven't personally played Azumarill, but in my experiences with other people playing Azumarill, they have mostly been negative. So E tier, but keep it keep it as a keep it as, as in your mind that that's just my personal experience with Azumarill's. I just don't have a good experience. So it could be way better, but I, I that that's where I'm at. Again, my opinion. Don't hate me too much. Espeon. Espeon, I'm going to put B tier. Delphox. I think Delphox probably. 
Glaceon. Glaceon is strong. The argument can be made to put Glaceon in S tier. A lot of people have put Glaceon in S tier. I personally, I'm going to put it in A. I just don't feel like it's quite there. I don't feel like it's quite mime level just yet, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Buzzwall. I'm going to put Buzzwall in D tier. Just, again, haven't had a lot of good experience with people playing Buzzwall on my team or even on the opposing team. So, eh. I, I just, I just, people, people, Buzzwall fans are going to get mad and that's you know, fine. You know, whatever. Uh, Titar. Titar is an A tier. In my opinion. I've had a lot of, there, Titar is quite strong. I don't think it's broken strong. Uh, but it is quite strong. Probably needs a little bit of a nerf. But I don't think it's mime strong, and I don't think it's the other Pokemon I'm going to put in S tier strong. Um, Mew! S tier. Without a doubt, Mew is S tier. I've got no... No... I don't think there's anyone who can argue that Mew's not S tier, along with mime, in this case. And Dodrio! My experience with Dodrio is it's not that great. Um, when I go up against Dodrios, it's kind of eh. Um, so I'm going to put it in the D tier. So there we have it. I didn't put anyone in F tier because I don't really feel like anyone deserves F tier right now. Um, and that's what we got. So that's my tier list. Thanks for watching. I'm expecting the hate very shortly and see you next time. Bye-bye.